Hello, and welcome to the Famous Shames Experience. My name is Shames Grady, and today I'm going to show you guys the new gun I bought. Right here. American, or Ruger American Rimfire Target Series. So, um, it's a 17 HMR caliber, which is a 17 Hornady Magnum. It's a very, very small grain bullet, great for killing rodents and prairie dogs, or just small animals you don't like. And uh, it comes with a 18 inch barrel floated all the way through which means the barrel is not touching the rifle until the chamber here and it comes with a threaded end so you can put a suppressor on it it comes with a factory installed rail so I don't have to buy a rail or install it on here it comes with a nine round rotary mag slip that in there oops other way nope had it right the way before the first first time there we go bolt action you know nice cushion butt end here just really excited to shoot this gun here the things I bought for it was the crossfire the scope the crossfire 2 vortex I like vortex and uh, the uh, rings for it and as you notice that it has uh, a uh, swivel here for whatever you use to carry it with and I have a Atlas bipod quick release so in order to use this I need to put on an adapter in order to use my, my bipod on this rifle so let's get to work so I got my gun set up get my scope on I get my gun in a vase or gun gun vice not vase and um, yeah so now I'm just going to put the finishing touches on the scope here, but before that, I'm going to eat a cookie, and I need my glasses too, so, when putting on the rings, it's important to have them on there evenly, so you don't bend the scope or damage the scope. But if you have Vortex and you do damage the scope, they'll replace it for free with their VIP warranty. So when you know installing something that you've never installed before on a gun, it's important to read the directions first, otherwise you just feel dumb for about five minutes. But anyways, yeah, we'll get back to you on that. So I just finished putting on the pick rail adapter for my quick release Atlas bipod. Just got put this on here and that's it let's see what it looks like the American Ruger rimfire target rifle equipped with an Atlas bipod and a crossfire 2 vortex viper scope look at this beaut Ain't that something? Now it's time to take this baby out for a spin or whatever, shoot. So, whenever I buy a new gun and a new scope, I, and I'm trying to sight it in the scope, I like to bore sight it first. That's where you put the scope on the gun, and you take the bolt out, you look through the barrel, and then you look through the, through the scope and you try to line it up that way. And that kind of gets you close so that when you shoot it, at 100 yards, you're at least on the target. So that from there you can work on zeroing it in. Target lined up. Let's see what it looks like in the barrel. It's not off by much, actually. Let's go move it to the right a little bit. Move it down. Let's take a few shots. Right. Pretty excited to shoot this thing. Not too bad of a group. My 
group here isn't too bad. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Oh, we're at about 100 yards now. You can see how the group is now. Um, the hair is kind of long. I need a haircut because the hair keeps falling into my eyes as, as I shoot. So hopefully this head, my earmuffs hold hold my hair up here. Mark's my spotter. Mark, you ready? For real? Bullseye. Check that out. I see mosquitoes everywhere, so let's make this quick. Uh, close up on the target. So apparently this was my first shot right here, bullseye. Then as I continue to shoot, I progressively just moved up into the left here a little bit. Um, what was happening was my cheek was getting sweaty and it kept slipping on the rifle. So I think I'm still going to adjust it down into the right just a little bit and see what happens there. All right, I've made the adjustments. Let's see what it looks like. You ready, Mark? Check that out. My last adjustment, I mean, my last time shooting, whatever. And uh, let's see how well I did. So I had a few flyers there, but once I got focused and made my final adjustments, I did pretty good. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it as it is and can't wait till I take it out to shoot some prairie dogs. Thanks for watching this video as I explore my new gun, 17 HMR American Ruger, Ruger American Rimfire Target Series. Um, it's been a blast. You, know, you can see me put on my scope, my uh, bipod, and all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe to my channel because there will be more.